The next thing is the iPilot link. This is foot f free control of the boat. This is called follow the contour and it's available with Lake Master Maps. What you do is you run your cursor over to a contour line and you hit go to and it'll either have the orange or the gray color area. You can see orange going this way, the gray going back and you can tell it which direction you want to go. You set it, set your speed and all you have to do is worry about catching fish. You don't have to worry about navigating the trolling motor. The next feature is the spot lock feature and it's like a deep water anchor. You can hit the spot lock button on the iPilot Link remote as we can see here. Um, it's basically sitting in that spot. We're in a 20 foot range here so we're keeping very accurate uh, placement on the tip of this little point here where we can make casts and not have to worry about our boat blowing all over the place in the wind. Next for is a little bit of new features for 2014 is the new shallow water anchors from Minn Kota. The Talon is now available in three new colors black, blue, and red. We've got our black case and black top and our white case and white top in the standard silver version also. Uh, also new for this year is a new 10 foot and 12 foot version. They are a three stage. We've got one, two, three stages. Basically it's uh, going to allow you to get deeper, faster. Um, the new talons also, the motor has been redesigned to be 30% stronger uh, and it's 30% quieter uh, with this new motor design where it's placed in the mid part of the unit. Um, we have some features of Talon that are standard equipment. One of them is called Auto Drive. Basically, you do a three second, or it does a drive. And then th waits three seconds, drives again, waits three seconds, and drives the third time. You will see that with no LED. It's just going to be off in this position. Next is a rough water mode. We drive the spike, wait three seconds, drive the spike, wait three seconds, drive the spike, and we repeat that pattern again for three times in rough when you're in rough water mode, and it'll be. Uh, when you hit the mode, it will be designated by a red light on the, on the unit that you are in rough water mode. The next one is new for 2014 is our soft bottom mode. If you get in areas that have a lot of mud, uh, silt, the talon is so strong that it can push itself way down in that mud. So 2014, they came up with what they called a soft bottom feature, so you don't drive that spike in as hard because you don't need it driven as hard. So when you hit your mode and the green button comes up, you're in soft bottom mode, it will just do the single sequence of setting the talon uh, so it doesn't drive too far in the mud. The next thing I want to speak about is Minn Kota precision chargers. Not all battery chargers are the same and with the cost of today's batteries, uh, getting the most out of your batteries is very critical and important. One of the differences is it's with the precision charger, it's a high frequency digital charger. Um, it's a true output rated charger. It's the highest, highest marine charger. Gives you the fastest charge and recovery time of any charger. Uh, it's also got automatic equalization, which cleans and conditions the battery with each charge. And as you can see down here at the bottom, um, you can see the sulfites um, in a charge state, the discharge state, the sulfides attached to the plates. Uh, during charging, uh, with the equalization, will suspend those back in the acid so it does, doesn't reduce the charge capability with this new precision charger. Uh, it you can actually do a deep equalization mode which cleanses your battery which knocks these sulfates off to make your battery last longer it, re it actually even help restore old batteries 
and it increases the battery ca capacity so you get more charge in every charge of your battery. The next is it's an intelligent design. The precision chargers offer the ability to select what type of batteries you're using and there's different charge sequences for the different types of battery. Gels, fl flooded lead acid, AGMs, um, you can select each one. If you have multiple types of batteries, you can select which battery for each bank of the charger. It's not all the banks are going to be charged at the same time that way. It's each individual bank can be charged in a different sequence depending on the type of battery you got. The LED, which will show up here, will also show the percentage of charge. It'll also uh, tell you the connect connection, the charge, the status the, of it, the battery type. Uh, it'll also flash error codes. Um, this, these are smart chargers that will do more than just charge the battery. They diagnose themselves to give you the best charge in the industry. One of the neat things of the new precision charger is if you go on a fishing vacation and you're at a motel with a lot of boats running off the same circuit, you may not be getting the full output from your outlet that you're plugged into. Low line voltage compensation will allow um, down to 90 volts uh, to increase that charge so you get a good fast charge. Uh, it compensates for that low line voltage and in increases the output of the charger still to protect the battery but it allows you to get a fast quick charge to protect your battery give it longer life and so you got fully charged batteries when you wake up in the morning to go out and catch fish on a long day again. Uh, the other thing is automatic temperature compensation. Uh, charging your batteries at, a, at like a high temperature, you can actually gas that battery and actually damage it. Um, these chargers feature temp probes that compensate for warm temperatures to protect the battery so you're not overcharging the battery or undercharging it. Um, this is a neat feature and something that will help give you longer battery life. Plus, all main coated chargers got a three-year warranty on them. Also new for this for 2014 is the new 112 trolling motors in the 36 volt system, 112 pounds of thrust. As you can see here, here is our old 101 uh, lower unit. Here is the new 112. They've actually changed the position of the shaft where it enters the foot of the trolling motor so that it takes the torque off. You can run 112 and you can turn that thing without with ease. Um, it's an awesome trolling motor and it's new for Minn Kota for this year. The, the strongest trolling motor on, in the industry. Thank you for tuning in and letting me show you some of the new items for 2014 and I appreciate you tuning in to my tips and tricks channels where you can learn more and get more out of your unit and your hard-earned investments. Thank you and tune in next time.